since Transformers Prime was introduced to the Legacy line, there were a lot of mixed opinions on all the figures that have been released so far, like Bulkhead, RC, and Knockout. Yeah, those three, not perfect. You know, they're not perfectly screen accurate, and I know, I understand, it's not liked by many people, and that's okay, you know, to each their own. I personally do enjoy them. I like them. Uh, Sky Queen and Jetwing, they're the best Prime Universe figures, uh, two of the best Prime Universe figures by far, in my personal opinion. But one figure is a total standout of the whole Transformers Prime subcategory of the Legacy line, and that is the Transformers Legacy United Forger Class Prime Universe Thundertron, who is a really, really awesome figure, and I love him to death. So, before we take a deeper look at this guy, we're going to show some various images of the packaging itself, and we will display some images of his beast mode because of how awesome this beast mode is. So, Let's get onto it! Ah, isn't Thundertron beautiful? Ah. <laughs> but yes, here is Thundertron fully transformed into his mechanical beast mode and uh yeah this thing is beautiful this thing is absolutely beautiful and truth be told this is my first ever thundertron figure i never owned the original thundertron figure fr uh, from transformers prime i never owned the original i don't know why i never bought him i mean i did see him at one point but then i decided you know what i'm, I'm not gonna go for it <laughs> um, but um but i'm glad i picked up the uh the legacy version of Thundertron and uh, yeah he looks good he looks really really good and uh, he looks freaking awesome I love it I absolutely love it so so let's take a closer look at the details here and there is the lion face right there nice blue paint for the eyebrows nice blue paint for the eyes a little bit of gold on the nose a little bit of silver paint on the teeth as well the blue striping going down here on the mane Love the uh, the shiny paint on the claws, very very nicely done, and uh, yeah, very cool, very cool looking beast mode, and um, it works, it works really well, it works very very well. He has a tail that can uh, move up and down if you really wanted to, and there is the Star Seeker logo uh, on, on the back of the lion mode, and uh, that looks cool. You know, it's like a like an amalgamation of both Autobot and Decepticon. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then you got these uh, these battle scars going on here. You know, he is a pirate, so so duh, he's got to have battle scars like over here, like the battle scratches and everything. I think that's dope. I think that's pretty cool. He's got a port going on here, so you can actually plug in a uh, a, uh, a, a weapon if you really wanted to. Um, and then there are two slots on this side. I'm not sure what those slots are for. Um, if you guys know what those slots are for, do please do let me know down in the comments because I have no idea what these are for. Um, unless they are to facilitate the gimmick of the weaponizers, I am not even sure. I am not even sure why they're there. So because he only comes with one accessory, and that is the sword. And here's the sword he comes with that he comes with, and. Um, yeah, um, I mean there is a tab, so it, I guess maybe this tab is meant for this for these slots in here. I think anyway, but the the top slot is too too big for the tab. You know, I mean it does fit in, it does go on there, but it's 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 it's, it's, uh, it's very loose. <laughs> it's very loose. How about the bottom slot? Uh, the bottom slot, eh. I guess it's more snug for the for the bottom slot if I do the shake test. So it's more snug there, so but other than that I don't really know any much use for these two slots, but oh well. Um there is a slot on top here so you can actually store the uh, the sword on top of the uh, lion mode if you really wanted to, and it is a totally ridiculous way to store it because you got the sword just the sword is just sticking out like a sore thumb, but hey, it is what it is. But I'm gonna remove the sword right now, and we will take uh, we will use this more in, in 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 a little bit. So, so yeah, um, he does have some articulation. Uh, the mouth can open and close. It's on a very tight hinge, 
So if you close it, it's, it's very hard to get it open. But there we go. You can open and close this mount. The head doesn't really move uh, because it's locked into place. Uh, the, the, the front legs, there is a hinge right here. There is a hinge at the claws right there. And if you want to have more articulation for the front legs, you have to unpeg this section right here. So you have to unpeg this and you can get your full rotation going on here. You can bring out the uh, the front legs if you really wanted to. There is a swivel right there, but that's more for transformation. And uh, yeah, so you have to unpeg the front leg uh, uh, so they can have more articulation. Um, for the, for the hind legs, uh, you get this uh, forward and backward movement. You do have a swivel right there. You have a knee joint right there. You have a, uh, a joint right here if you really want to use it. And there is a little bit of ankle tiltage right here. Only on this foot because this foot does something else. And I'll show that off once we get down into robot mode. So, so he's pretty poseable in lion mode as you saw in the in the pictures that I showed you in the beginning of the review um, you can actually pose him quite a bit so, so that's pretty cool so now let us reunite Thundertron with the other prime universe figures that we have gotten so far and there you go there we have all of the prime universe figures that I've gotten so far so we got Dreadwing, RC, Bulkhead, Knockout and Skyquake and they all look really good together they all look pretty good together. Nice collection here of updated Transformers Prime characters, and I absolutely love that. So, moving on, and here we have Thundertron compared with his Wavemate animated Optimus Prime. So you can see how the two Wave One Voyagers look together. So that's pretty much it for the old mode for the old mode comparisons right here. And so, without further ado, let us transform Thundertron into his robot mode but first i gotta get the camera up because he's gonna be a tall dude so i gotta raise up the camera there we go so all right so the legs um they are pretty much the stand the beast up transformation so you just bring the legs down rotate them forward at the thigh and then you rotate at the knee and then you want to straighten up the legs right here like so you want to take this section right here and this will rotate the forward like so so we got one leg all done and ready very easy so just take the other leg do the same thing on the other side just rotate rotate and get the thing centered <laughs> and straighten up the legs like so and then take this section and just rotate it around and there we have the legs pretty much all done and ready so now you want to take this section right here you want to untab all of that and then you want to untab unpeg this section right here and unpeg the arm the four the, the 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 front legs unpeg the front legs and then you want to unclip the head from this tab right here and this will come down like so leave that for now and now we can take the uh, the head here just bring this up oh yeah if, if you want to like you know move the head you know I mean, you yeah. If you untap everything, then the the lion head can move up and down if you really want it to. But there we go. So we're gonna take the, uh, this section right here. Just bring this out like so, and then you can take the arms, split them, and just bring them out like so. Rotate the arms down like that, and rotate el at the elbow so that everything is oriented properly. And do the same thing on your side. Bring it down. Rotate around and there we have pretty much the arms all done so now this is pretty much my favorite part of the transformation so just take this section right here just open that up and then you want to uh, which side goes where <laughs> I forgot which side goes where um you want to rotate this section around and then this will fold in fold in and then close that up I love that because for the original toy the uh, the front legs of the um, of the lion mode, they I think they became the uh, the legs, or is it they became the uh, the arms? I think they became the arms. Yeah, they became they became the arms. So I'm glad that the arms are just like their own thing, while the front legs hide in the shoulders. I think that's clever. That's a clever bit of transformation right there. I love that. So just 
take this section and rotate it around and then fold all this in and then we can take this and just close that up and again I love that absolutely love that so now we can take the this whole section right here just bring this over his head and you want to take the, uh, the lion head and this will oops this will uh, come up on you it's on a double hinge I believe uh, just come up on you just make sure everything I think there is a connection here so there's a tab the taps in the slot right here so just make sure everything is lined up properly and that will tab into place like so and there we go there is the uh, chest all put together so now we can take the back section right here and this will just come down and that will just go over that white section right there and take the tail put this up a little bit and I believe we're done I yes we're done yay yay we're done so there we have Thundertron fully transformed into his very awesome looking robot mode and yeah he does look really really awesome I absolutely love the design of this guy. I, I personally think that this guy looks way better than the original toy, me personally. Um, so so yeah, I love the dark blue and everything. It, it really pops. It, it, it really pops well. So so yeah, looks very, very, very good. So let's take a look at his head sculpt. I love the head sculpt. Very, very piratey. Love the scar there on his eye. Love the silver beard and everything. And of course, the white paint for the head crest and everything, blue for the eyes. Yeah, I love that head sculpt. Yeah, it's a normal looking Transformer head sculpt and I love it. Absolutely love it. Very pirate, very captain. And uh, yeah. yeah, looks very cohesive. Looks very cohesive. It's a pretty clean transformation. And uh, yeah. And again, I love how the uh, the shoulder pads transform. You know, I love how the uh, the front legs hide inside the shoulder pads. That's clever. That's really, really clever. Um, yeah, very nicely done figure here. Um, I'm impressed. I am absolutely impressed with this guy. So, um, as far as his articulation goes, uh, the head is on the ball joint. Can rotate side to side a little bit. Can't really look up. Only a little bit. Can't really look down. The, uh, the shoulder pads, can they... Um, they can move up and down if you really wanted to. It can swing forward and back a little bit. The arms can rotate. Uh, they don't rotate a full 360 due to the way this is designed. So you can only get that far for uh, forward movement and then back movement that far. You do have outward movement for the arms. You do have a swivel at the elbow. And then you have an elbow bend which is quite nice, over 90 degrees. And then you do have wrist rotation, but it is pretty, pretty tight. It's a really tight joint. And um, I'm scared to move. I'm scared to move it. There we go, there we go. He has, he has wrist rotation, but considering he has these claws right there, it's kind of hard to rotate the wrists. Um, and due to the way he transforms, he does not have a waist swivel. I thought he had, but no, he doesn't have a waist swivel. Um, these panels can actually move out of the way to accommodate leg movement. Legs can move the far, can move back, back that far. You can pretty much do the full splits there. You do have a thigh swivel, knee bend, uh, swivel at the knee. Uh, you can break a shin <laughs> you do have ankle tilt on this side and again this side does not have ankle tilt but it can move up and down both feet can move up and down but this side does not have the ankle tiltage so which is a bit unfortunate but there is a reason to that because this guy retains the peg leg yes he has the peg leg so you just take off his foot here and it reveals the peg leg and surprisingly he can actually stand, even with the peg leg, even on one foot. So yeah, so, yeah, I'm glad that he has the peg leg because he's a pirate captain. So he's meant to have the peg leg. I love, I love that. I love that. But what do you do with this extra foot? Well, this can actually store on the sword. So you can actually take this and there is um, this, this tab right here that, that will go into the slot right there. So just plug this 
on right there and then you just take this section bring it down a little bit and then we have the full look of the sword there and you can take the sword and just plug it into his hand and there we go there we go there we got the full look of Thundertron right there with the peg leg and everything and I love that I absolutely love that very very nicely done so yeah very very cool so I think that's pretty much it there so um, let's bring in some size comparisons and there you go there we have Thundertron reunited with the other Transformers Prime well, the genera uh, other generation style Transformers Prime figures that we've gotten so far in the Legacy line. You've got the uh, Decepticon Twins, Skywing and Jetwing, Bulkhead, Knockout, and RC. And uh, in my personal opinion, I think the two twins and Thundertron are the three best Transformers Prime figures that we've gotten in the Legacy line. That's my personal opinion. I mean, I still love Bulkhead. I still like the Knockout. RC is definitely the weakest. But I think these these three, the, the two leaders and the Voyager Class Thundertron, they're the best ones out of the Transformers Prime figures that we've gotten so far in the Legacy line. In my personal opinion, I think those three are the best. So, but there we go. Uh, uh, let's move on. And here we have Thundertron compared with his wave mate, animated Optimus Prime. And they, yeah, these two are some of the best Voyagers that I've ever gotten in the Legacy line. And, um... Yeah, Hasbro has been really cooking with these Voyagers. <laughs> and I love it. So, that's pretty much it for the Robot Mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Prime Universe Thundertron. And a very well done figure, in my opinion. The Robot Mode looks freaking awesome. The Beast Mode looks freaking awesome. Love the transformation. The transformation is nice and smooth. It works really, really well. Articulation is nicely done. Um, the wrist ribble is a little bit, you know, too tight. <laughs> but for the most part, the articulation is nicely done. Except for, you know, this side does not have an ankle tilt, but it's understandable because he has a peg leg and everything. So, yeah. Um, love how the foot is stored in the so on the sword. I think that is pretty cohesive looking, in my opinion. Um, yeah, just just love the way this guy looks, and um, he he plays well, he poses well, and um, the fact that you can actually disconnect some con uh, some post port connections in the beast mode to make it more poseable, I think that is that is a good feature. That's a good feature. So, yeah. Um, um, do do I find any flaws with the figure? Um, maybe the arms could have been. A bit more articulated, you know. They, they maybe, maybe this the the shoulder pads could rotate it out of the way so that you can actually get the the full rotation for the arms. But it's no big deal, not a big deal breaker for me. So because I I, I could I, I I I can barely find any issues with this figure because everything about this figure, it's nice and snug. It's super solid. It's just oh, it's just woo, it's just a beautiful beautiful figure beautiful piece so Hasbro you did a really good job with this character I never thought that we would get an updated version of Thundertron and and we did and I love it I love it so so if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 10 I think he deserves a um, a very very hot 10 out of 10 I find no issues with this guy. You know, this guy is just freaking awesome, man. I love him. Absolutely love this guy. Oh, my first Thundertron, and I am not disappointed. 10 out of 10. It's just, mm, mm. And, uh, yeah, just very well done. Very, very well done. Just, oh, woo, boy. But anyway, so there you go. So I think that's pretty much it. So, now, I did get this guy from one toy, but if you want to get a Thundertron off your own, uh, do hunt him down. And if you do find him, pick him up. He's just that good. So, there we go. So, I think that's pretty much it for, for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you will never miss any of my future videos. And... 
you can always check out my Legacy Reviews playlist. There is a link to the playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers Legacy United Forger Class Prime Universe Thundertron. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all one. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah! Greetings Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.